So shalom everyone and thank you for being here. Uh, we are Yossi Lior and we have a show on the internet called Shidurah Nisayot of Yossi Lior on Shidurah.com. And when Jeff invited us to do something on stage... Wait, 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 it says... Uh, oh, wow. Who, who, who's seen our show before? Who has Oh my god. Who knows what Lior has on his chest? Again. He has a lot of hair on his chest. <laughs> and I have you some wax and we'll do that on stage right now. Thank you very much. No. So, a few words about what is she the way? It's, it's, you know. I don't want to do promotion. If they like it, they'll go to see it. Let's not do marketing in here. Yeah? Um, okay. Okay. No marketing. So, um, when Jeff invited us, uh, we thought, let's do something special. Let's record a show on stage. And let's do a 140 characters interview with Jeff Cooper. And the questions are going to be submitted by yourself, if you like. We have a few questions that we prepared, but feel free to think of an interesting question that Jeff can answer in what this is a surprise, he didn't know that. No. I see his face. It's not even by you that will do that. Right. Right. Submit your question, tag it 140 conf, and we have a, a Twitter for and we uh, ask them. Oh, Bucharest. Hi to for Bucharest. Uh, what you, for Bucharest is, uh, what, uh, what happens if Jeff is going to answer in more than 140? 40 parts, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we have, in the spirit of the Mondial, we have a Vuzvuzela. <laughs> <laughs> and so please welcome Jeff Pulver. So, remember 140 characters. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's very cool. So we have time for many questions because the answers are short. First question. Besides family, who is the most interesting Twitter character that you know and why? Really everyone. No, 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 I, no come on, the most interesting. Uh, and Curry? The rules again. It's not a conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. We have a possible say that it's one. Time. Think about it as a tweet. So before you answer, Compact and give it, give it to us. The strangers who I run into each day are usually the most interesting people I meet. Okay, submit your question. We'll go to them in a few can, seconds. Can I ask you about everything? Go ahead. Everything, really. Go ahead. I, 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 in 140 character or less, Lauren Feldman. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Next question. You'll see people like it. He's like that on the show. And I'm trying to restrain. Um, we know that you love his breath. You write about it constantly. Um, what are the things that you don't like about his breath? Don't like. Um, it's a, that's a true question. Yeah, sorry. He thought was well, more than. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Benji sent out a, a suggestion to, to change the name of the conference. Instead of uh, um, exploring the state of now, exploring the state of Hafu. <laughs> that would work. So, what are the best places for Hafu in Tel Aviv? Uh, this is very biased. I apologize. I, I should actually subscribe. Yeah, well, I, I, I enjoy it for different reasons. I enjoy the Brasserie and enjoy Mount of Fury. But it's, it's for the mood and it's for the soundtrack as much as the people. The Hafu is secondary. Okay. Michal Matias is asking how many tweets do you tweet per day? Average of 100. Um, I'm sorry, but this is a question from the audience. So it's not for me. I'm going to ask it. Um, you'll decide. How did you become rich? <laughs> Ori Hanel is asking. Can, can, can I, can I uh, ask another question before that? No. No. <laughs> yes. How rich are you? <laughs> it's Israel. It's from the heart, you know? Those are your friends. 
Um, yeah, I'd say that's uh, as far as how did I? I took chances and I got lucky, and I learned that being lucky is okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, did you install FeedMe? Asks. Uh, you got his iPhone stolen. Yeah, my iPhone was stolen. I'm, I'm on queue now for an iPhone 4. So when I get the new iPhone, I won't install it. Is there someone here with an iPhone 4? You no need one. to understand the thing about Lior. Lior just left Microsoft after being deprived of Apple products for a few years. He is now interested in... So anybody has an iPad here? Who has an iPad? Please give... Bring me the iPad, let him pet it for a while so we, you know, calm down. Thank you. Uh, please continue to submit your question, we get him, and I'm, I'm, I'm just reading them. The next question comes from um, uh, Room W. Who is that? Oh. Uh, how? Okay, here, thanks. How many miles uh, do you do a year? And, and may I add, can you give us a feel for mileage for the Yes, that is a good uh, 140,000. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go, want to go on vacation somewhere, you have miles to get like the, the everyone here. I, I, I don't need miles to charity, I'm sorry. This is not charity, this is business. I, I, I am a charity case. We can talk later. Oh, great question. From um, Gonzi Ronnie, sorry for the spelling. Um, what people and stories are you working on your book? I need more than 140 characters. If I can, can, I, can I change the rules for a minute? You can, you can do a few follow-up tweets. <laughs> so, you can say, I'm working on the topic of this, and next tweet, you can elaborate. I'll give you up to how many tweets? Up to Three, 10 tweets. Right. Uh, and they're, they're generous. So real fast. Um, for my book, I'm looking at people who are changing the world. I'm looking at people who don't realize that they they're actually doing amazing things. And I'm looking for people who are discovering themselves. Because um, it turns out, um, we all have a chance to affect change. And so the book is sort of looking at people as superheroes. Who just woke up and said something, and all of a sudden their voice was heard, and that changed something. And there are a lot of people, even people here today, that are doing that. Do you have a few, a few like, um, uh, Twitter analysis that really made a big change? The, the, you need to know the story behind the people, so it's, it's not so much just the, the alias, but it's, uh, it's, I will break the format, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's when you realize people have passion, make things happen, and people don't do it for necessarily for profit, they do it to actually affect, because it's in the heart. And uh, they're just people who are just you know, making the world a better place. And that's sort of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I call it the connected me. And these connected me's are just, they're like superheroes. And uh, anyone can be one, you know? And people don't even realize it. That's sort of the, the, the beautiful part about it, is people just do things for passion, and uh, they're, they're changing things as a result. And so, yeah, there are a lot, I have a lot of ad function. In fact, some of the people here today, I mean, they're all part of that, because people who find themselves and discover who they are, you know, when some people wake up, some people are born and they're prodigies. Um, you're born great with math, maybe you're a concert pianist, maybe you're a violinist, but you have a presence. And may, or maybe, you know, people are rock stars, they have stage presence. And then other people go through their entire lives until they realize what they're good at and then they're great at it and they find themselves. And so what I'm discovering are people who are discovering themselves through these mediums and they're affecting change by it. Okay. Um, a personal question by Benji. I will cut it with Benji's permission in two weeks. Uh -oh. How many children do you have? Can you tell us a bit about your family? Uh, no. <laughs> so the next question, follow up. If not, would you like to adopt me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Benji, this is your father. You didn't see Zenze because you were not in Israeli. Your Baba, your Ibni, this is one of the things we might do. Ibni, Do you maybe later? Um, are you ever going to come to Ramada with me? Asks uh, Tova. I know. Um, Who is Tova? Who is Tova? Over there. I said maybe. Okay. When? When? <laughs> uh, maybe uh, my next trip? They have great job in Ramada. Uh, Take me to. Come along. Anyone who wants to come to the house in the Yes, please. Okay. Uh, please continue to submit your questions. Um, Jeff, what is your favorite 140 conference? 
Well, I, I think here, I think the, um, we had it here with us. I tell you, where is uh, Alone? Where's Alone here? Alone's here somewhere, right? Uh, the hotel? Um, that story that I, I mean, after Alone spoke here last year, I had to fly him to New York to share a story there. And uh, what was beautiful was I was able to export that uh, story of passion and love and uh, affect many people. And uh, the openness here, when we had the IVF session just before, I mean, I know we have other sessions throughout the day, the music session we're really looking forward to. There's just something about what happens here that is really, I mean, you take it for granted. You know, this is where you live, this is how you work, and this is just who your friends are. But I, I think that here in Israel, there's so many great things that happen that affect change, that uh, sort of reflection of what can be. And I think, I don't know about any other government, that, or any other army, or any other military, really, that's using Twitter the way the IDF is. And that there's no best practices yet, but I think that if there are, be, that there are, that the governments will be contacting Israel just to better understand how they're able to change and uh, make things happen. So it's, you know, further, I mean, look, I have fun in other cities. Uh, some of the celebrities I meet are amazing. But, but you know, I invite famous people, so the unfamous people got discovered. I do these conferences really to look at the effects of this real time web. Well, but it's sort of a scam in the sense that I look for famous people people have heard of so that their messages are heard too. But then we build a stage and a platform, and the people, I do like, I used to have a record label, and I used to do like a &R, looking for artists, now I do a &R for high tech. I look for people with passion, and find the people undiscovered, and put them on stage, and give them a chance to speak for the first time, or give them a chance to be heard by, new, by a different community, and that's what I love, what I do. Um, but as far as the, the favorite conferences, I mean, just there's something here that you have to be here to appreciate it, and it's not technology-based, it's, it's the energy in the air. I have a question for you about the all. Um, now that the all has left Microsoft, I um, I really I, I liked punching him about it, you know, like being, uh, living under Steve Ballmer with all his hateful iPhones. What? Five? Two things. Two things that the all needs to do the day after. Wow. Yes. Two things. Two things. Yeah, yeah, that he couldn't do before because he was working at Microsoft. Um, I would say, you know, Blackberry is a bit too, but um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong. Microsoft happens to be, if you look at companies around the world that are, are that sort of like, um, are like cockroaches, that figure out ways to withstand uh, all sorts of pressure, all sorts of uh, nuclear attacks, uh, Microsoft has that quality to actually adapt and redefine themselves and, uh, and live, and live long and live strong. So I think there's a lot actually. Hey, oh, I, I believe that Microsoft it may not necessarily be a, a startup anymore, and going to their campus in Seattle and seeing all the Ivy kind of reminds me that it's the old company now, but there's something about them that defines them in terms of being able to be adaptive, and uh, you know, it's, it, so is Apple. Apple's not a new company either, but they're cool, you know? But what's really funny is for years, if you were a disruptor, you walked around with a Mac, now in America anyway, Mac is the standard. If you be an instructor, you walk around with Windows 7, so you figure that out. I just want to say, Microsoft will be always a part of me. I really love this company, so you, you will not see me with a Mac. Aww. Aww. Um, give me one month outside of Microsoft without me. <laughs> <laughs> a soldier. Yes. yes, thank you for your support. To us. A, a soldier mother asks, um, and this is a tweet question, so be sure. What is Twitter's single greatest power? Humanity. Uh, What's your favorite curse? Leave them as a curse. Leave them as a curse. Curse, you know, the uh, NF world, uh, something with, you know, passion. Hafuch. <laughs> What's your favorite word? Hafuch. <laughs> yeah, Benji, Benji is asking if the rumors on Twitter that he's dating Barry Faeli are true. <laughs> My magic eight ball says, me. It's crazy. It is easy. How could Twitter grow larger than Facebook? <laughs> I don't think it can. I think that serves two different markets. I, I think Facebook is open, is, is wishes if Facebook ever figured out that they were Facebook and not tried to be somebody else, they'd be so much better. Um, Twitter has always been open. Uh, Facebook is closed. And Aurel asks, will you attend this Friday's pizza call in Tel Aviv? 
What time? It's 11 o'clock. We're going to do 20 pizza places to get the badge. It's like only for crazy people. Uh, we have something before 11, right, uh, Ami? So maybe afterwards. Ah, 12, it's okay. It's okay. I'm free Pizza then. call. Pizza call. Pizza. Okay. Sure, yes. You want to invite everybody else? Yes, we can invite everybody. Tell them where it is. What it is. Yes, it's uh, on the side called, just look for Pizza Call. Tel, Tel Aviv Pizza Call. Yes, on Facebook. You'll find it. Three rest if you're asking. Um, what is the biggest threat to the Israeli high-tech industry? This is a long answer. Um, in some ways, I don't think there's much, really. It's just it's, it's about the uh, biggest threat, really. I don't think there is a real threat, because, you know, what I discovered several years ago coming to Israel is that, well, there's a shortage of oil wells. Oil wells are born every day here. And there's something about the people that define the experience. And I don't think the DNA is changing anytime soon. And uh, I'm, if I had to be bullish on where things happen, I think there's, I don't know, there's another country, certainly there's no other per capita, a high, you know, per capita, whatever, Israel sort of stands out, at least from innovation perspectives. I don't think anyone here is resting on their laurels or anyone's waiting. You know, they're just doing, and so um, I'm not really threatened by that. I think there's other countries who come in which will be su supportive, but it's uh, and competitive. But uh, we're okay. You're, no. I did a, a comment by Gil and friends to the question. Do you think that Facebook uh, realize? Uh, um, um, he, he says it like this: If Facebook realized that they're Facebook and stop trying to be something else, it'd be much better. Do you think that Facebook is stop has stopped being Facebook and, and is doing other things? Yes. Um, in fact, how many people here are Facebook developers? How many people here have noticed in the last three years that Facebook took out the viralness to only write applications? Well, no, they really have, right? In fact, the, the truth I heard about Facebook was that they were jealous of the fact that the million, hundreds of millions of dollars that agencies were getting um, from client work, and they were not getting it themselves, and they took out the, the they changed the API so that now you have to buy currency from Facebook in order to promote your apps. So that's sort of Good for Facebook, not so good for developers. Um, so I, but the, the, the other time that they did what a billion in revenue last year, so they're doing something right. Um, Do we have a question about sex? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yes, you can. This is maybe <laughs> on the next episode of Shinurei yes. Yosiyanes. Um, Jacob. Ask, do you think that Israelis love to talk about Israel too much, especially the non-Israelis? I don't know. If there are girl tourists in Israel, yes. I of think course. it's all about context, though. So we've come to the end. Let's see if there is one last question. There is no threat to Israeli high techs, and, and there is. I really don't. Think, I, you know, no, I mean, look, we're always. I guess if you think there's never a threat, then there is a threat. I think letting your guard down is bad, but I don't think anybody here is willing to let their guard down. So you know, you don't take it, no one takes anything for granted, and from that point of view, people continue to innovate. So, so ma, ma on, ma on IL, my own IL, can we see you? Uh, can you see what you look like without your glasses? Uh, <laughs> maybe, but now, <laughs> yeah, sure. But, okay. <laughs> So let me close with one last comment by Yoav Seda. And I think it speaks by everyone in here, and obviously from um, Yosef and myself. Thank you, Jeff Pulver, for being inspiration and giving us all the opportunity to make a change. Thank you very much. Thank you.